Hi everyone, today I will show you how to use the app called Pixlr Touch Up. And first we will just uh, click uh, Adjust. <clears throat> and it's basically where you can uh, change the color of the picture, add some contrast to it and all that stuff. Um, first we will go to Contrast. And uh, we have this negative side and this positive side here. And um, so you can, uh, the negative uh, side is kind of, it's grayish and the positive is more vibrant, I guess. And you can, you can really play with this and also the brightness, it's, um, the negative side is very dark and the positive is white. So I like to keep it a little bit dark and then just uh, press accept. And then uh, the color. Here you have vibrance, warmth, uh, hue and saturation. And they all... Uh, are kind of uh, they they are different colors and you that you can put to your picture and this is very like uh, the negative side is a uh, very gray and it's almost black and white but it's not and the positive it's it's bright and summery so I like to keep it there and the warmth of the picture uh, you can make it make it look blue and also kind of yellowy and hue and this uh, the hue basically uh, just changes the color of the picture so if you go to the negative it's kind of it looks very weird and when you go to positive it, it also looks weird well I I like to keep it neutral but it's always nice to kind of change the color a little bit and when moving on to saturation the negative side is just uh, this <clears throat> very plain color and when you go to positive it's very bright and nice I like that so just accept and auto fix it um, this uh, just changes the picture you can accept it or cancel so just it, it makes it very fast and easy to do but I don't like this but it's all very good when you you're in a hurry so yeah and vocal blur um, this basically uh, blurs everything else except the circle and yeah I think it's uh, very nice for a picture like this, but I I think I will keep it very normal. So I will blur the picture, not not too much like this, but something like this. And yeah, just accept. And I. I think I will skip the touch up or maybe I will go there as well so uh, here you have just uh, a brush and you can basically just just draw a line where you want to <laughs> make it look more pretty but in case like this I think it doesn't work at all maybe Let's try there, if it works or not. Nope, <laughs> it doesn't work. So, cancel. <laughs> and 
I will skip the clone part and go to the sharpen part and this uh, is the amount of the sharpness and this is basically very sharp but I like to keep it down normal and here's just the radius somewhere over there I'm gonna accept blur you just <clears throat> you can choose the amount of the blur and the whole picture blurs which it kind of sucks but I I don't know I think I think I I don't really like that one and but it's great if you have something very plain and you want to add a text like here um and then you can write something very very inspirational maybe i don't know and the airbrush which is kind of it just you know makes it like that you can so you you have a brush and the intensity I'm just gonna show you what it does and this I think this is so much more better than the touch up which i guess is supposed to kind of hide some imperfections and that stuff but i think this is better for a case like this because you know it just makes it look more pretty but i i i like that like it was so i just cancelled it and smooth sorry this is a little bit slow and okay the amount how smooth you want your picture to look like i think this doesn't look very nice it looks like there's something wrong with the camera so i like to keep it down and no i i'm not gonna do that and liquify this is the last one and <clears throat> you can choose um enlarge shrink push instant thin instant tall and reset okay uh, first i will show you what the enlarge looks like and <laughs> for a case like this <laughs> And basically, when you do this too many times, yep, just looks very weird. But it enlarged, <laughs> so cancel. I will go there again, liquefy, and now show this. And this is just the opposite. It kind of goes inside, I guess, and the push, you just, you kind of, you need to just move, move it like this, and you will kind of, when you do this enough times, uh, you will get this shape <laughs> so you can change uh, the shape of the flower for example instant thin you can make it look thinner and instant tall look taller so yeah and i think this doesn't look very good so 
here here is just the adjust and now we will move on to effects and the effect they are just filters you can choose to make your picture look different but i think yeah this is basically it like just this um i think this is also good if you're in a hurry um you can just you know um pick up your picture and then just um uh, uh choose an effect i think that's pretty good and i i like to keep it like this i think but i will show you how to use the other things as well so here you can just add some overlays like um bubbles i think this actually looks pretty cool um um bo bocia something like that and i think yeah it, it actually looks very nice so uh, you can just choose between everything it's i I think this is pretty cool actually, so I, I think I will keep that. And you can also uh, choose the amount of the overlay. And now it's to type. So uh, here you just have to type your text and it's very easy, you just type it. So for example, flower and now you just can choose the color okay maybe maybe blue okay blue and then the text maybe no not this one okay Okay, this doesn't look the best. I'm just showing you how to do it. So, and here you can also kind of, oh, if you want it to look very sheer, you can just, you know, have it at 45 or something. But if you want it to look normal, just 100 percent and it will look good i like this one and then just accept so here's my tutorial i hope you enjoyed uh, it and i know this is a little bit long but um yeah i hope you learned how to use this and yeah so bye